after Kim Pimlock, the director of California's Department of Forestry and Fire Protection, made a presentation at the Aerial Firefighting Conference in Sacramento on March 13, 2018, we had a chance to ask him a few questions. We started out by saying even though we normally don't try to make a prediction about the summer fire season months in advance, the fact that the snowpack in the Sierras is so low must be concerning. I think uh, in general all of the weather patterns and the, the fuel conditions that are out there uh, really aren't changing. We've had, we're coming off of five years of drought, uh, climate change, you know, we're seeing mean temperatures increasing, weather patterns are different. Uh, as you indicated, snow uh, is not as abundant as it once was. We're getting precipitation more in the form of rain. And all of that has changed the dynamic out on the landscape, which is really having us looking towards an anticipation, always, that fire season one is going to be year-round, and two, that it's going to have that potential to be uh, you know, large and damaging. We've seen it for the last four or five years. It literally is the new normal. So we're, we're planning for that. We're preparing for that. Uh, and, and again, it, it'll all depend on whether we have fire starts or not and what actual weather does during the summer and spring months. But at the end of the day, uh, we're planning and preparing for it to be as, as intense as it's ever been. Tell us about the new helicopter that Town Fire is acquiring. So we're certainly excited to be uh, moving forward. Uh, the governor and the legislature uh, has invested in us uh, to really look at you know, the next platform for the future. The UH-1 Huey has taken CAL FIRE over the last four decades uh, and, and, and really put us in the forefront in supporting our firefighters on the ground with a rotoring platform. Uh, this new platform, the uh, S-70I Blackhawk, will be the future. Uh, it will meet the intent of the kind of conditions we're facing, uh, and so we're excited to, to begin this process. And what is the schedule for acquiring them? How many, how soon? So we're, uh, the, the bid has been awarded to United Rotorcraft, and so we're certainly working, currently working through uh, with the administration uh, and the legislature on what the funding and procurement cycle would be. But we anticipate uh, that we will begin the process uh, here shortly and work on replacement of all 12 helicopters over the next three to four years. Three to four years, that's pretty fast. You know, we, again, it's really dependent upon the vendor's uh, production schedule. Uh, and so once we uh, secure funding and ensure all that appropriations in place, then we can really sit down with the vendor and work on what that uh, procurement cycle would be. But I can tell you from both the legislature uh, and the administration, um, there's a significant support uh, to make this happen. So it's just working through the process to get it done. As you know, the Forest Service is cutting back on the number of large air tankers and type 1 helicopters on EU contracts. How will that affect firefighting in California? You know, we're always working very closely with our federal partners to uh, ensure that there are uh, aviation assets, uh, both rotary and fixed wing, available uh, in California. And as you know, it's an integrated system, state, federal, and local assets, uh, as well as call when needed, private uh, assets. So we're looking at that every day and working uh, with our federal partners to ensure uh, we have what's needed in California. And I will tell you, California will never short uh, aviation resources. We're always going to be planning and preparing for what we need based on the conditions that we're facing. Do you have any personal goals for managing town fire this year? Uh, you know, this year I think it's one is ensuring our firefighters uh, are rested and ready to get back uh, into the fight. 2017 was an extremely long year uh, and we're really not done with it because we've had to push all of our maintenance and things well into the beginning of 2018. So number one is to make sure our firefighters are are both mentally and physically fit and ready to, to engage as this new fire season looms uh, right away. Two, it's to ensure we have the resources uh, and, and are all in place to make that happen. Uh, and it's to ensure the safety of everybody, both the public uh, and the firefighters on the fire line. Because again, the conditions we're facing uh, continue to be challenging uh, and deadly. We lost a firefighter uh, during the Thomas fire in a tragic uh, event and so again our number one goal is to ensure that we protect people uh, and the public and, and the public and our firefighters and so that will be uh, our focus and certainly it's working on preventing fires uh, from happening in the first place working very closely with the public uh, to have a, an aggressive fire prevention program and public education program thank, thank you Chief. thank you